Hey, once again, it's time for an objective preview of a Philadelphia Eagles game with a guy who's got a Philadelphia Eagles pennant right behind him. Hey, everybody, it's uh, mid-major Matt Sports Memo.com. Thursday night football for week two has the Philadelphia Eagles and the Minnesota Vikings playing in Philadelphia. It is the home opener for the Eagles, and it's a rematch of last year's game, which was also in week two, also in Philadelphia, although this one was on Monday night football. And in that one, you saw the Eagles win the game rather easily. Jalen Hurts uh, had a very good game for him. Uh, Justin Jefferson did not have a very good game for him. And of course, it was primetime Kirk Cousins playing like primetime Kirk Cousins. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the similarities from that one and some of the differences as we go into week two. Eagles coming off the win in New England against the Patriots in an ugly game of sorts. Uh, a couple of things that I took out of that. First off, the running back situation, of course, is very tough one to kind of figure out. Uh, obviously, Kenny Gainwell got the most uh, carries. Kenny Gainwell got the most snaps. Uh, DeAndre, uh, DeAndre Swift barely played. Uh, Boston Scott got a few uh, touches as well. And Rashad Penny was inactive. Now, the one thing I kind of caution people here, and maybe we get some value on DeAndre Swift uh, numbers here, is that maybe the Eagles were looking ahead to the Thursday night game, keeping Penny fresh for a game like this, keeping Swift fresh for a game like this. Uh, so certainly something to consider when you look at the prop market is taking a look at the De De DeAndre Swift numbers because I think he's going to get used a little bit more than he was in week one. Coach Sirianni said afterwards that's something that they can't have him only touch the ball as many times as he did. Also, Dallas Goddard had one target no catches in that game. He dominated Minnesota last year in this game. So certainly one of those squeaky wheel kind of things. I think Dallas Goddard gets some catches uh, in this one. When you look on the Minnesota side, coming off of a certainly a disappointing home loss to Tampa Bay, uh, Kirk Cousins had a bunch of turnovers, put up a bunch of uh, yards. This is what Kirk Cousins does. He puts up a lot of statistics, has some key turnovers, loses regular season games. And I think there's no reason to think he couldn't do it once again uh, in this one. The one guy who I think is going to have a really good game here is TJ Hawkinson. He had a really good game last year against the Eagles. We saw Hunter Henry and Mike Gesicki have tremendous games against Philadelphia. They targeted Zach Cunningham over and over and over again in the passing game. The Kobe Dean went down for the Eagles, so they're going to have to try and figure some things out injury-wise. So I think that TJ Hawkinson is going to have a big game, look for his receptions, maybe even sprinkle on his touchdowns. Of course, Justin Jefferson Jefferson had a down game last year. Darius Slay talked about it on Twitter. Uh, I think Jefferson has, you know, another mediocre game, maybe slightly better than he did last year. Jordan Addison could be the one who benefits as well. I think the Eagles win this game. I think they're a solid tease piece as they are a seven-point favorite in this one. But, of course, Thursday night football, always weird things happen. So take a look maybe at the props. The last prop I'd look at, Eagles were always good scoring in the first half. Maybe if the books put out a 13-and-a-half for their first half to, uh, team total, I'd look Look at the over. They went over that, obviously, in the first quarter in New England. Uh, you can find out more from all sorts of videos on the Wager Talk YouTube TV channel. And uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and that's your preview of Thursday Night Football.